Hello everyone, it's DA here with another top 5 video. I get this question often about fashion frame and tips to looking great in the game when all hope is lost in Warframe. Now let's be honest, the notion of endgame can be argued daily by different factions and individuals, but fashion frame has to be the only thing over the past few years that hasn't changed and I've stayed the same by a lot of communities. So. I guess we can say fashion frame is the true end game. Yeah, I dare you to argue me down in the comment section. So here is going to be my top five important things or tips to creating the best looking or the most amazing fashion frame possible. Number one, fantasy vision or desires. Before you start coloring anything in the game, I will suggest that you have these items or these things in mind. It could be a combination of your favorite colors. It could be a gaming item, maybe another game, a TV character, a movie character, or something that you are trying to cosplay. And if so, make sure you have a reference either on a second screen or something on your phone or something in mind. This way you know what you are going to look like, you know what your goal is, and you also know what the colors you will be dealing with. Now if you don't have the specific color palette or a particular color, then I will say using the color palette that you have, you can try finding colors that are a little bit similar, maybe on the temperature level or something dealing with the contrast or the brightness, and those should work. Lastly, on number one, you have to decide if you want to go for a realistic approach or if you want to go for a comic or a cartoonic approach, and that is very important. I don't even know if cartoonic is a word, but anyways, we're just gonna go with the word cartoonic. Now, second thing is the material that you are doing fashion frame with. Now, I have mentioned this in a lot of my older videos. There are several textures in Warframe which include soft textures, metallics, coarse, and sometimes you have the extra shine and plastics. Some of them are even weird, I'll be honest with you guys, and these are some of the things that are very important to me the most even out of the entire list. If it is a hard texture, then you have to know that you are more likely going to look like a glorified Gundam in space if you are using some of those bright colors. So basically, if it is a shining plastic or a shining texture, I will say go for darker colors. If it is a softer texture, then I say you can be open with brighter colors or darker colors. As far as the metallics go, it is often great to go with silver or the gold looks. The Storm, Orokin, and the Smoke Palette are a great place to start if you're looking for some of your soft or very sharp golds or silvers, but be careful not to look too bright or too dark when it comes to your metallics because that will also make you look terrible. The third thing is going to be the contrast, lighting, and coordination. I sometimes put my Warframe in Capture just to see what they look like under different lighting and different environments, and I will also suggest that you guys should try it out because because you might even love it or be able to take some of the most beautiful and amazing capture shots ever. Now it is important that your colors complement each other based on the textures and the temperature of your colors. Now a bright red and a bright blue will not go together, I'm sorry. Unless you are going for maybe a holiday theme, I will say that will not be the go-to move. However, a dark red and a dark blue might be better because that way it seems a little bit more grounded and it feels more real. Brighter colors often give you the cartoon feel as I mentioned earlier, but if you are strong on the bright colors, then I will say try using darker ones to complement them so everything just doesn't feel too bright. Now if you have all white on, then a little hint of light grays or a different darker color would be an amazing thing to add and also makes that Warframe come to life and give the Warframe some depth. Now it is also important that you customize your weapons and your attachment to match your Warframe color because I'll be honest with you guys, I am very picky about those things. I hate going into the battlefield with a weapon that has a different color that doesn't complement what I have on. Now the fourth tip is the Warframe settings and your hardware. Your graphics card could make your images look crazy compared to others. So these are some of the things that I will also see people say as well when they say some of their customizations 
doesn't look like what I did in my own video. Now this is also why I suggest that you mess with your brightness and contrast sliders a little bit. And my personal favorite is that you turn off color correction and reduce the bloom effect in your display settings. And if you are planning on upgrading your graphics card in the future, I would say wait a little bit because the prices will be coming down very soon. And also even when you do upgrade, you really don't have to go that high for Warframe. Warframe's graphics problem is not always going to be your gear. It is often going to be the optimization of the assets in the game. Lastly, I would say just experiment, experiment, experiment. Because by now you know how these colors look on different textures and different Warframes or different items, you have to be free because this is the moment where you can now express yourself, be extra. You can step out as a purple dragon if you want to and just add a little bit of those darker hints of grays or maybe a little bit darker shade of that purple, then you will be good to go and you will still look great in your attire. Let me know what you guys think about this video. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a thumbs up. And if you have any question, go ahead and drop that down below and I will get to it as soon as I can. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you find it informative and I will see you in the next one.